What is poppin' everybody? We are back with another video and in today's video what we are going to be doing is since the second Future Stars team got released yesterday I've decided to take the Future Stars team 1 and the Future Stars team 2 and I've made their own separate teams And we are going to be putting them against each other to see which Future Stars team is the best So before we even look at the teams hit that like button hit that subscribe button We are on the road to 100 subscribers. We're only 45 away so, I mean, let's try to make it happen eventually, hopefully. But, let's go. Let's see what the teams are. First off, we have the team two of the future stars. We got Rasmus Hoyland up top with Makuku, Inyaki, no, not Inyaki, Nico Williams, Zaire Emery, Cold Palmer, Olise, Nets, Pacho, Diakaite, Rico Lewis, and there is no... Of future stars goalies this year for some reason so i decided to put james trafford he had a very very good showing at the under 21 euros i want to say or world cup i forget which one it was but very very good and i mean that's a very great team like I, some of the best youngsters in the world by the way you might be wondering why is hoyland the 92 if you can look i'll show you his card I'm, if I can pop up the image of his actual card, the stats are the same. 93 pace, 89 shooting, 81 passings, 87 dribbling, 89 physical. They, if for some reason, EA just thinks it's a 92 in career mode versus in ultimate team. So I don't know. If the ratings don't match, that's not my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm serious, all right? But that is enough of that. Let us look at the team one, which we have seen before. But here it is. We got Boniface, Doku, Garnacho, Harvey Elliott, Barrios, Arda Guler, Balde, Bisek, Lukeba. Lamptey and Petrovic, another no like uh, no future star goalie. So I took another very very young goalie who's also doing really really well right now. But here's how this video works: we put them in a game against each other to see who is best in one game. But then we also put them in the Premier League to see in a career simulation to see which team would win the most trophies, who would win the Prem, La not La Liga, <laughs> Carabao Cup, FA Cup, and Champions League. But we always start off with the game, so that is what we are going to be doing there. Let's go now. We are ready for this game to start. Let me know who you think is going to win down in the comments. I personally think that the team two is going to win, but who knows? EA is unpredictable, but let's start off. He gives it to Hoyland. Hoyland does some nice skills. Oh, could he be through? He finds Nico. Who finds Makuku? Palmer! Palmer shoots and he scores! It is 1-0 to the Future Stars Team 2. What a counterattack by them. Cold Palmer, one of the best youngsters in the world. Look at this. Good pass. Good pass. Great pass. Finish. Easy as you like. Petrovic has no chance of saving that. And Palmer blasts it into the back of the net. It is 1-0. What a finish. Can the Future Stars Team 1 make a comeback? I have no idea, but let's find out. It seems like this game is just going to go into halftime. 1-0. And it does. 1-0 to the Team 2 of the Future Stars. One, the, Pretty much the only shot of the game. I think it was the only shot of the game, actually. Let's look. Yeah, only shot of the game, only goal. But that's all that matters. 1-0. Let's go into the second half to see if it'll change. I am re But this has to... There's not... Time is ticking. Here comes the Future Stars Team 1. Boniface gives it back to Arda Guler, who finds Barrios. Gives it to Doku. Elliot. Boniface shoots. Blocked by Nets. Oh, that could have been 1-1 just like that. First shot of the game for the Team 1. But it is blocked by the defender. But here comes the cross by Garnacho. Can someone get their head to it? It goes to Boniface, but James Trafford is there before him, and he catches the ball with ease. That looked like to be the last chance for this team to... But is it? Who knows? Balde finds Barrios, who gives it to Arda Guler, who finds Balde again. Elliot gives it to Boniface. Oh, Boniface is running with it. Will he give it back? No, he was taking way too much time, but he finds Balde. Gives it to, to Doku. Oh, Doku tries to square it, but that looks like they wasted their last chance of the game deciding not to shoot it. And it seems like that is the end of the game, which it will be. Can the Future Star Team 2 finish it one last time? I don't think they really care that much. They know they won. Makuku's doing dances with it, and it goes out for the end of the game. Future Stars Team 2 has beaten Team 1, 1 to 0. Only one shot they needed was the one goal that won it. I really, I think EA really needs to fix their AI, bro. Like, they don't know how to shoot unless they're like, without a man in like a 10 mile radius. I don't understand it. But that doesn't matter anymore. We are gonna be going into our career simulation. I will see you there.
All right, we are ready to start this simulation. We got both teams in the prem. So we are going to be testing who can win the most trophies or who just does better in every league in case neither of them win trophies because who knows these days with EA. I mean, I mean, they're both very, very stacked teams, but they don't have benches. Like, there's, they're only 60 rated. So if a player gets injured, their season might be over. Who knows? But I will start simming and I will see you when it is done. All right, we have finished the simulation. Let's see which team has come out on top. Let's find out. All right. Liverpool finished 12th, which is crazy because they didn't even lose their best players, which is, I mean, well, all right, interesting, but 9th, 8th, Man United 8th, 7th, 6th, okay, top 5, top 4, okay, are they top 3? They are both top 3, all right, we can either see one of the two teams here or Man City, I hope it's Man City, but let's find out. <sighs> it is Man City, all right, we have a number 1 and a number 2 situation for both these teams, let's find out who won. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, but let's go in three, two, one. Team one has won by one, four points, sorry, four points, not one. They, they finished one by four points, two extra wins compared to two extra draws. That is crazy. If they had taken two wins, they would have gone 100. They would have been Centurions, but that is, wow, that is crazy. I wonder who won in the clashes between them, but I mean, good for them. I mean, that's crazy. Anyways, though, let's find out. Did either of them win Carabao Cup? The Future Star Team 2 won the Carabao Cup. They beat Team 1 on penalties in the semifinals. All right, so that's one trophy to one trophy. But obviously, the Prem is a lot bigger than the Carabao Cup. So I think the Team 2 needs to win the Champions League, I think. FA Cup. They're in the finals. Oh, they're both in the finals. Oh, that's crazy. Let's go. Let's go. All right, that could be a big decider as well. All right. And then champions league are either of them in the champions league final the, the the team one is in the finals team two got eliminated to real madrid all right so we are going to see i mean okay what would you rather have prem or care about cup and fa cup i don't know i think i'd rather the prem so i think Team 1 has a very, very good chance of winning, but we will sim to the end of the season. But while we do that, I always ask a question of the day. So, we'll ask this one. Who do you think is winning the Prem? Because it's a pretty tight race right now. Do you think City, Liverpool, Arsenal, or somebody else is going to win? I personally think City's probably going to win, but who knows? Like, actually, I think we all know that City's going to win, you know? They do have 150 FFP charges for a reason, if you know what I mean. But let's find out who won each cup and champions league so let's find out fa cup winner which team is it so team one has won it so they are on for a treble all right so that three two they okay but champions league did the team one win the treble in three two one they won the treble team one has won the big three prem champions league and fa cup they have definitely won this video i mean oh actually let me know if you think what's better caraval cup or treble i don't know uh that's a mm, ah, it's a close one but i think i'd edge it to team one edge <laughs> funny no it's not that was stupid presley ow i hit myself all right anyways let's find out who was the top goal scorer? Boniface scored 31 goals, followed by Holland in on City. But there's three uh, Team 2 players. You have Hoyland, Makuku, and Williams, all scoring 20-plus goals. And Garnacho in six with 20 goals. That is very, very good. I don't think I've ever seen like a team that had three players finish with 20-plus goals. That's really good for all of them. But... They want, they can win the goal scoring door. The team one has won this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 100 subscribers. You don't want to join the team when we already, when we blow up, because I know we will. I'm praying to God that we will. But I'm going to go watch Chelsea absolutely violate Man City. And I will see you guys tomorrow because I post daily content every day. I'm back. I know I missed a few days, a few days ago. But that doesn't matter. We are posting daily content. We are back and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.